If you clicked on this video, I can imagine you're probably a business owner who wants to make consistent, high quality content for your business, whether that's short form videos, YouTube videos, you name it. The problem is that most people who talk about hiring an editor in-house don't understand the reality of hiring and managing an in-house editor. They think it'll be much better if they have an in-house video guy who's fully dedicated to them full time, who can just churn out videos all day, every day. But honestly, that's the start of your problems if you choose to do this. And it's not your fault. Your brain's in the right place if you wanna go all in on content, but you're going about it the wrong way if you're considering hiring an in-house editor. That's why in this video, I'm going to go over the three most important things you need to know if you're considering bringing on an in-house editor. The goal with this video is that you can come to a decision and get your editor needs sorted quickly so that you can finally consistently make high quality content promoting your business. Real quick, 10 second intro. I've scaled this guy from 54K a month to 430K a month using YouTube and short form content. I work with Simone. We basically blew up her channel. I work with Matt Lucero. He was uploading like one or two videos a month and he's made 50K from his channel. So I know what I'm talking about. Okay, so first things first, I want to talk about the current state of editor hiring. Right now, there's thousands of kids who are trying to make money online, and the first thing they want to do is video editing. And the reason why is because it's a low barrier to entry skill that pretty much anybody can pick up just by watching some YouTube videos and buying a software. But the problem is they don't have the sauce. And what I mean by that is that they don't fundamentally understand how to edit a good video. But more importantly, they don't know how to make you money. They're just an editor. You're going to talk about a really important topic that's super serious, you know, business like, and then they're going to start doing Mr. Beast edits and just random shit, or maybe they're going to start doing Eman Gadzi style editing. What's going to happen is you're going to go through thousands of applicants, send out test footage, have people rage at you for asking them to do a test edit. You're going to get overcharged for people's skill level. And then the one good editor you finally find out of a thousand is going to ghost you because he has too much work in the first place. So do you even have the time to go through that? And does anybody on your team even know what a good editor looks like? And don't even get me started on the number of people just stealing work. So earlier today, I was sifting through 90 short form video editor applications out of those 98 of them were pretty decent so we're going to do some paid trials and there was a couple of them who were literally stealing my own clients work and using it in their portfolio to apply for my job so there's some pretty crazy shit going on nowadays it's not uncommon for it to take at least 45 to 60 days to find one good video editor. That's what we found at least from consistently hiring editors. Okay, next up, I wanna talk about the reality of quality checking. We've basically never had a video come back from an editor and have no revisions. Most of the time, there's gonna be random spelling errors, bad cuts, weird use of color, weird fonts, just fundamental re-edits in general. And then once you tell them this, they're gonna rage because there's some random 18 year old editor. I know what you might be thinking, oh, Eamon's probably hiring some cheap third world people, paying them like $2 per YouTube video. And no, I've worked with people from Canada, the UK, et cetera, and these things will still pop up. For a simple 60 second short form video, sometimes you'll even go through three rounds of revisions just so it's good enough to publish to your channel. And you, as a business owner, you do not have the bandwidth and the mental energy to go through this. Trust me, even I don't have the mental ability to do this. I did this for months and I almost rage quit. So I had to hire a creative director whose sole role was literally to quality check videos. All right, so next up, I wanna talk about managing editors. Most of the time they're slow. It usually takes like three days to turn around a YouTube video. And most editors are gonna tell you, oh, I need five days, seven days, et cetera, et cetera. And I know they're lying because I can edit other people can edit and it takes two to three days. Next up, they're inconsistent. Sometimes they'll send you a banger video. Sometimes it'll be bad. Maybe the videos in their portfolio piece or their paid trial was a banger because they spent a ton of time on it. But then when you actually onboard them and start working with them, their videos are just terrible. Also, sometimes editors will literally just ghost you. So if you don't grab their phone number, their email and pretty much every single social media they have, they're just gonna disappear one day from the Slack. And you'll literally have to hunt them down on every platform until they answer you. Another thing that's super annoying with managing in-house editors is that they never learn from their revisions. Obviously I'm generalizing, yes, there's good editors who can learn from them, but sometimes you'll point out one spelling mistake and that same spelling mistake will keep popping up. Or you'll point out, hey, use this font and the same mistake keeps popping up. Also, a lot of editors just have bad communication. Like literally the only thing they can do is edit videos and then that's it. So they don't really know how to text. They don't know how to communicate properly, send updates. Even if I give them all the training and all the handholding in the world, sometimes they just can't do it. Also, there's like editor inflation nowadays. So a lot of the times editors will price themselves insanely high for their skill level. You're going to find yourself paying these in-house editors more than you would have paid the experienced YouTube agency anyways. I know I sound super biased right now, but just hear me out. We currently have 12 full-time video editors, so I know what I'm talking about. And I pretty much deal with all these issues every single day. Another thing that's going to happen is you're going to go through so much to hire a single editor, but you're going to become super lenient just because of 
with all the effort you had to go through to hire them in the first place. So then for the next six months, the process of creating content is just going to be unbearable. And eventually you're just going to stop recording. Another thing is that the good editors typically have multiple clients, so they're never going to be fully dedicated to you in the first place. So what will happen is you'll assign them something and they'll say, hey, can I start this in two days? I have X, Y, Z going on. I'm editing another video, so on and so forth. All of these things are going to lead you to not being consistent with your content. And if you're not consistent, you're not going to scale. Another thing is that once you burn out from quality checking, you're going to need to bring on a creative director who can handle the quality checking. So that just adds even more overhead. But good luck finding someone who can actually catch all of the mistakes in one go and also completely understands the style that you're going for. And also good luck finding someone who's not going to rage quit after going through millions of revisions. So the solution is to work with an experienced YouTube agency with tons of case studies. In case you don't know already, I run a YouTube agency and literally the only thing you need to do is film. We ideate the content, we write the scripts for you, you record and then we do literally everything after that. So that's post-production, editing, thumbnails, SEO, posting, literally everything. And it's at half the cost of hiring a full-time in-house video editor who's actually good. But more importantly, it's a 10th of the cost if you factor in your time and how much mental bandwidth would go into managing an in-house editor. When you compare working with an agency like us versus bringing on an in-house video editor, it's literally a no-brainer considering all the headaches you'll instantly get rid of. So after going through over a thousand editor applications and working with over 30 video editors, those are my thoughts on if you should hire in-house. As you can see, it's a massive headache and it's literally not worth it when you take into consideration that you can work with a fully done for you content agency that will handle the ideation of your content that actually converts, script out your content that actually converts, has an understanding of how YouTube works, edits your videos, creates the thumbnail, does the SEO and even posts it for you. Literally everything, even the descriptions. And that's exactly what I've built here at Tickscale. So if I've managed to convince you that hiring an in-house video editor is literally the worst decision you can make as a business owner and you still want to make content, then hit the first link in the description, book a call and you'll speak directly with me and we'll see if we're a good fit to work together. When you click that link, there's also going to be a ton of case studies that pop up. So just go through all of them. A couple more case studies. We've helped off main at over 10K MRR from a single YouTube video. He runs a cold email lead generation agency. We've helped Dakota Robertson go from a couple hundred subscribers to over 14K. We helped Daniel Fazio, also known as cold email wizard, collect over 108K in additional cash collected from his YouTube channel in 82 days. And I have way more case studies, but I won't even go into them. So if you want similar results, then book a call right now. That's it. Peace.